Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Tech Motoring. On today's episode, we're gonna be taking a look at this product here. This is the King Bolin BM550 battery analyzer and tester. So you could test your six, 12, and 24 volt batteries using this tester. And today we're gonna to put it through a little test and see how well it does. So make sure you stay tuned. We'll be right back. All right, everybody, welcome back. So like I was saying, King Bolin reached out to me and asked if I can take a look at this product here. Now, this is a very simple, easy product. This is just a battery tester and analyzer. All this does is it tests your six volt, 12 volt, and 24 volt batteries to test their uh, health, basically, their state of charge, also their state of health. And today what we're gonna do is we're gonna be just taking a look at the product and then testing these two batteries here. Now, these are two identical 12 volt AGM batteries. They were bought at the exact same time. They are many years old at this point. And um, what I'm curious about is that one of these has never been used not sure which one and one of them has actually been used for a short while so it has been cycled a couple of times so i'm very curious to see the differences between these two batteries and whether or not this battery analyzer is actually capable of seeing a difference between these two batteries now i haven't tested this already so i actually don't know what the results are but the battery that has been used is probably going to have a little bit lower state of health but a higher state of charge and the one that hasn't been used is probably gonna have a higher state of health, but maybe a lower state of charge. I don't know. We're gonna find out today. So we're gonna test these side by side, take the notes and see if this product can actually tell the difference between these two batteries. Okay, so let's go ahead and dive in. Let's do an unboxing of this real quick and take a look at the product. All right, it's been unboxed. So this is the product here. This is just a very simple, um, obviously very small, very lightweight. There's really not much needed to make these things function as a battery tester. Um, I just remember 20 years ago looking at battery testers and they were this, this huge thing with these alligator clips on it and had the, you know, the needle type of gauge on it. Just really ridiculous considering, you know, how far we've come with these products nowadays and how cheap they are too. So once again, this is just a standard 612 volt or 24 volt battery tester and we have these two uh, Duracell's 12 volts uh, AGM batteries purchased. They were literally in the same box so they were manufactured pretty much probably next to each other on the line. So these age-wise are exactly the same. One has never been used, not sure which one that is, and one has been used a little bit. So once again, curious to see what the differences are. So let's go ahead and just uh, get this cable loose here and then we're going to adjust that camera so you can see everything that I see on the screen here and um, This way we could take a look at it together and see how it looks and obviously very simple You have one black lead and one red lead obviously red is your positive black is your negative and um, you have a little 1.8 inch screen um, it's not a color screen, but it is a screen, so it's a lot easier to see. So we do have a couple buttons on the front here, and this just has a very basic system where you have to just select a couple things on the screen. 6 volt, 12 volt, 24 volt, I think is really much uh, that you have to do, maybe if you want to switch between state of health, state of charge. But either way, we're going to dive in, take a look at this, and see just how well it works. So let's go ahead, get the camera adjusted, get you close to this, and we'll see what the differences between these two batteries are. All right, so we have our two identical uh, 12 volt AGM batteries here on the table. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start with this one on the left. We're gonna get it plugged into the battery tester. We're going to see what comes up the, on the battery tester screen, take a look at it, and uh, see what the health is that comes up on this battery and uh, compare that to that one over there. And then we'll see what the difference is between these two. I'm really curious. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna take the battery tester here. We're gonna clamp it onto the terminals like so. The battery tester now turns on. At the top of the screen, you can select between your options of six volt, 12 volt, and 24 volt. So you just obviously select which one of these that you want. And we're gonna go ahead and go to the 12 volt. We're gonna hit the green okay button down here. 
it's asking us for our CCAs. Now, I did a quick calculation. These batteries should be around 270 CCA. They are 18 amp hour batteries. So we're gonna put 270, though I'm not 100% sure how accurate that is, but really as long as we do that same test on both of them, we'll get an idea of the differences between these two batteries. So there's 270 CCA. We're gonna hit the green okay again. And now it's trying to calculate our cold cranking amps on this battery to see where it's at. So it says it's at 237, so it's good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna write this number down and we're gonna take a look at the differences between the two once we get to that point. All right, now we got that written down. Let's go and see. Oh, okay, so it is just different voltages. So it shows that we're at 12.16 volts, which is awesome. That means it's holding above the 12 volt uh, nominal voltage that the battery should have. Looks like it shows us our uh, resistance here. Very nice. State of charge. So this is at 26% state of charge, this battery. So still holding above 12 volts at 26% state of charge. That's pretty good. Let's write that down as well. Uh, state of health, 78%. So it's telling us that we have a 78% state of health. Battery, like I said, it's quite a few years old. It's been sitting for a while. So we really don't know um, exactly which battery this is, if this is the one that I've used or if this is the one that's literally just been sitting. But either way, uh, we're gonna mark that down as well. All right, well, there you go. So a very basic, inexpensive tool, but gives us a lot of information about the health and state of charge of a battery and kind of gives us an idea of whether or not the battery is, is useful or if it's something that should just be recycled. So just to kind of recap what we've seen on this battery, 237 uh, cold cranking amps is what's available left on the battery according to this tester. It is currently at the state of 12.16 volts. The state of charge is at 26%, so kind of low. So I'm thinking that this is the one that I've used before. And the state of health says that it's at 78%. So we got that information right here. We're gonna throw that on top of the battery. Now we're gonna have to do this one next and see what the results are. We're gonna select our CCAs for 270 because that is what we believe is the cold cranking amps of this battery. So down we go. 270, we're gonna hit the green okay again. 233, it's actually less than the other battery. Let's write this down. We are at 12.12 .12 volts, so a little bit lower. Let's write it down. Oh, we're at 20% state of charge. Okay, interesting. Let's write this down. And we are at a 75% state of health on this battery. All right. All right, well, there you go. So we have two identical batteries that were manufactured at the same time, put into the same box for sale. Um, at least three years old, I would say these batteries are. One was used for a very little bit and one was not really used at all. It's just been sitting for at least those three years now. And so we have some discrepancies between these two batteries. So we've tested that the battery tester can tell the difference between these two batteries. Uh, on one hand, let's just kind of go over the, the statistics of each battery real quick. So the one we started out with on this side has 237 cold cranking amps available. This one was 233. So very similar results, uh, very small differences. Can't really tell the difference between those two batteries based on that. Our voltage on this battery was 12.16. The voltage on this battery was 12.12. .12. Of course, that has a lot to do with its state of charge because obviously the higher state of charge, the higher the voltage will be. So we can't really use that to say that there's anything wrong with the battery based on voltage, but it's good to know about voltage because if for some reason you're testing a 12 volt battery and let's say the battery is full, but it's only giving you 10 volts, that means that you probably have a dead cell of the battery. What we could tell is that both these batteries are healthy as far as that goes because they're both above 12 volts. But let's get to the state of charge. This battery was at 26% state of charge. This battery was at 20% state of charge. So now what I'm really kind of curious about at this point is charging these batteries up to full and then seeing what the results are. So let's get these batteries charged up. I have a battery tender downstairs. I wanna get these things charged up to full and I wanna see what the results come after we do that. It's gonna be a little bit to get that done. So let's go ahead and get this plugged in, get these things charged up to 100%, retry this again and see what the results are. All right, so just to kind of go over our testing procedures here, 
we have our one battery currently plugged into a battery charger. So we got both batteries here, one waiting to be charged. This is our diehard 6 volt, 12 volt, 3 amp battery charger. So I think what we're going to do is that's a 3 amp charger. This is a 18 amp hour battery. We're going to wait for this to tell me that the battery is full. We're going to wait for this light to start pulsing. And then once that happens, we're going to switch to the other battery, get them both charged up the same exact way on this charger. And then we're going to test each battery. All right, everybody. Well, welcome back. So it's been just over a day since you last saw me. That is because it took a lot longer to charge these batteries than I anticipated. It probably took roughly uh, five to six hours to charge up each of these batteries. So it took a little longer than I anticipated, but they both came to a fully charged state on the battery charger or battery tender uh, to the point where the light was now uh, in a maintaining cycle and no longer a charging cycle. So we got both batteries up, charged up, and then I went ahead and used the King Bolin BM550 on each of them. And now we're going to compare the results between what we started with and what we ended with and see if there's a discrepancy or if there's a difference between the two. So let's start over here with battery one. And what we saw yesterday when we did the test was that it had 237 cold cranking amps of power. Today, it is showing that it has 279 cold cranking amps of power. So a little bit over than I suspect is the actual cold cranking amps of the battery. Once again, I don't know exactly what the CCA uh, is on this battery. I just have to estimate that it's somewhere between 270 and maybe like 290-ish, um, but it's coming back at 279 CCA for this battery. The voltage went from 12.16 volts before to 12.94 volts. So obviously as we charge the battery, the overall voltage of the battery has come up as well. So almost 13 volts, which makes sense for a 12 volt battery. The state of charge, which this was claiming to be at 26% state of charge, is now claiming to be at 98% state of charge. Okay, now it's possible that maybe it got cut off a little bit sooner on the charger, uh, or that it's just not really possible to get these things up to 100%. Plus, it's hard to say based on, you know, which of these batteries I've used in the past, it's possible that it could have lost a little bit of that battery state of charge. Other than that, we have our state of health. Now, this is where things get a little weird. It was showing a state of health of 78% yesterday when we did this battery test. Today, it is showing a state of charge of 100%. Now, that is because now that we fully uh, charged the battery, it can now properly detect the voltages and everything about the battery. Obviously, the CCA, the cold cranking amps are now higher, so therefore it's just assuming that the state of health is at 100%. And that kind of makes sense because these batteries really haven't been used, they haven't been cycled very often, so um, really I can't imagine that this would actually be incorrect. Uh, it does seem to be holding the voltage, the cells seem to be in healthy state, uh, the state of charge is nearly full, and so the state of health does make sense that it would be considered, based on all these other factors, 100% state of health. Let's go over to battery number two. So yesterday we saw that this battery was registering at 233 cold cranking amps. Today it is 279. So this registering at 279 cold cranking amps, and this one also registering at 279 cold cranking amps, this one was at 12.12 volts yesterday. Today it is at 12.81. So once again, pretty close to that 13 volt mark. Once again, well within the spectrum of what you would expect from a 12 volt battery. State of charge, this was claiming at 20% yesterday. Today is at 98%, same as battery number one. And of course, yesterday we were seeing a 75% state of health. It is now at 100%. But before we end this video, I wanna do one more thing. I wanna do the same test on this battery, and I want to test to see if we can see by setting the cold cranking amps number to 280, if we get any different results. So 
We are going to set the battery voltage once again to 12 volts. We are going to set the CCA number to 280 since these are claiming to be 279 cold cranking amps. We're going to let that calculate and do its thing for a moment here and we're going to see what the results are here. So it is still claiming 279 cold cranking amps. It is showing 12.95 volts. 12.94 is what we got so that's about the same. It is showing 98% state of charge, so no change there. And it's showing a state of health of 99. Uh, so that's basically just saying that if you're expecting a battery to have 280 uh, cold cranking amps, uh, and this is 279, the battery might have degraded slightly. So it seems like it uses a very, very simple uh, algorithm or formula to get this number. And, and it makes sense that that would be the case. So as I'm curious, I'm just gonna set this to something ridiculous, like 500 cold crank cranking amps and see what the results end up being. So this is showing 279 cold cranking amps, which is fine, that's, that's what we expect. Uh, we are at about the same voltage and we are at 98% state of charge and the state of health is at 31%. All right, so I think that kind of gives us the final number as to how this machine works. It's using a variable based on those other numbers to get your state of health, which is actually the proper way of doing it. Does it still hold the proper amount of voltage in each cell? Does it still hold the proper amount of cold cranking amps? And is the state of charge at its peak? If it is, then we know that it should be able to put out the full cold cranking amps and voltage based on those numbers, therefore your state of health should be X. It's just a product that uses a very simple algorithm to figure out whether or not this battery is good, this battery is good, this battery is bad, whatever the case may be. All right, so with that result, is this a product that I'd say that I would recommend to people who just need to test batteries? Yeah, sure, why not? It's a very inexpensive tool that'll get you exactly what you need, which is if you just need to test your battery, then this is the proper tool to do that for. Now, I will say one thing here. This does not work on deep cycle batteries. So if you're in the need for testing deep cycle batteries, this would not be the product for you. You do not want to use this. You'll have to find a different tester for this. This is pretty much just for your typical automotive grade, um, lead acid batteries, AGM batteries. So that is the King Bolin BM550 battery tester here. Uh, it is a tool designed to do a job. And does it do that job well? Yes. Does it make it easy for you to figure out how to do it? Yes. Is it inexpensive enough to justify its worth? I believe so. There are a lot of other tools on the market that are between five and 10 times more expensive than this one that will test your batteries on top of doing a lot of other diagnostics for your car. So if you're in the market for something that is just as simple as testing batteries on a normal basis, I think this is a fantastic product to do that with. If you're looking for something that's a little bit more, I wanna test batteries, but I also wanna diagnose car problems and OBD2 readings and stuff like that, well, there are other tools on the market that will do both of those. So if you just want to check whether or not this battery is good or this battery is good, check to see if they're still in good standing. I think this tool will do just fine for you. Anyway, I'd like to thank you very much for watching today's episode. Check us out on all our social medias down in the description below. If you're interested in this product, I will have a link for it down in the description as well so you can take a look at it from there. Thank you very much again for watching and remember, welcome to the future and welcome to Tech Motoring. And we'll see you on the next episode.